shouldn't rely on willpower. It will train eventually, and then you will reset your nofap trick. So instead, you should just hide at home, never go outside, never don't even try looking at your phone because then it's gonna be done. <laughs> Bro, those are just words only a weakling could mutter. What will you do when eventually you face your addictions and you did not fa you did not take on your demons head on? Because it will happen eventually. You can't just stay at home ignoring that they don't exist. And then it will be far worse than if you try to use your real power because then you will just be back at start. It will be so hard that you won't be able to resist it. You know? What's that quote? One often meets his destiny on the road he took to avoid it. What will you do when you face uh, your addiction? When you face your demons? Will you just <laughs> crumble in fear? Knowing that you can't do anything but to obey them? It's like an addict that has been deprived of his drugs. He isn't, he hasn't truly stopped being addicted. No, 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 far from it. He just temporarily put it on hold. His brain has kind of forget about it for now. But eventually, like it is inevitable that he will find that drug somewhere and he won't be able to stand it. It's, it's like pre-modeled in his brain that he has to do it. Willpower is a gift to man from God. While animals act solely on instinct, we humans have the power to disobey it. If you want to take that drug, you don't have to do it. If you don't want to fap, you don't have to do it. Even it doesn't matter how much your instinct tells you to do it. You do have, hold the power within you to disobey it. A man cannot exhibit his true potential until he displays the highest amount of willpower. Now, would you not think that such a gift holds immense power? Well, of course it does. Willpower is the force that bends reality to your will. Remember that, okay? Willpower is the force that bends reality to your will. Now you've all heard of the story of the 300. A small group of 300 Spartan men going up against a few hundred thousands of Persian men. Now, of course, it was courage that allowed them to go into battle in the first place. But what was it that kept them going for three days and that made them slay over 20,000? Well, their willpower, of course. What else? Their willpower was so strong that they managed to keep that going for so long. Or think of the boxer that isn't necessarily more skilled, faster, stronger, athletic, anything like that. Their opponent basically has everything over them. But that boxer got one thing, his willpower. He wants to win so badly that he would do anything to do it. And he doesn't give up, he gets knocked down, he gets up every single time. What happens? Because of his willpower, the opponent gets scared. He, he, he knows that this guy's power, willpower is so strong compared to his that he won't be able to go on as long, even though he has better stamina, better everything else. And so that, that's what I mean. You can sh shape your reality to your will using your willpower. Okay, but it's not like everybody can just go on and do it, right? Some people are actually born with more willpower than some other people. But what, what you have to think of is that willpower is like a skill. It's like strength, it's like training your endurance and so of course you can also work up your willpower that's not impossible it's quite easy actually and it's like the same thing as when you go to the gym so if you have gone to the gym you will understand the concept that i'm about to explain to you very easily and it's progressive overload you can progressive overload your willpower until it comes to the point so great that you will become unstoppable. Now, before we explain to you this thing, I want you to test out your willpower so that you know around what point it is. So this test we're going to do is 
you're going to have something that you kind of want to quit doing. It doesn't necessarily be, it can be whatever, your, you can have a candy bar or maybe a PlayStation if you want to quit playing games. Well, whatever, you just have your addiction in front of you, okay? And you don't touch it. And I want you to see for how long you'll be able to withstand touching it. It probably won't be long, maybe a few hours, maybe if you've got somewhat uh, stronger willpower a few days. What you will notice is that eventually you will succumb to it. You will eat it, that chocolate eventually. And after I explain everything to you, I want you to do the test again, right? And I want you to see how, how well will you fare the next time. And you can, if you want, you can write it in the comments how long did it last the first time and then how long did it last the second time. So how do you actually train your willpower? Well, it's through progressive world. And it kind of works like the test I told you. So for example, you want to quit eating chocolate or any, anything. You have it in front of you, you see how long it will last. Maybe it only lasts a few hours. You write it down. Today, you write down the date. Today I have lasted for five hours without eating chocolate. And so the next day you try to off for six hours. And then the day after that you go for seven and then eight. And you see kind of how that goes. And so eventually, trust me, you will be able to look at it and you will like be, this is so easy. And you will feel immense pride because eventually it won't hold any power over you. And also it's, you will, from that, you will gain more willpower, right? So the amount of willpower you have will go up. The tank you have in you will also go up. But the willpower needed to not do that thing will go down because it's kind of, it's kind of complex to explain, but your brain has all of these circuits. And when you stop doing an addiction, those circuits stop, like they go away that are linked to that addic addiction. And so it becomes easier and easier and easier until those circuits will be completely gone. But I have to warn you for one thing, is that it's the same thing as like building muscle, you know? You build muscle, you stop training, and then when you come back, it, your muscle comes back really easy. The same thing with addiction. If you do something, you know, you start, the circuits start going away, but immediately when you start doing it again, they will come back way faster. So it will be easier to get addicted again because you have been addicted before. So that's why I always recommend doing just a cold turkey. Like you can try it out, it's hard, but for me, that's the best thing. Just stop doing it completely. No, like you can still implement a progressive older, but that, what I mean is you don't say to yourself, Oh, I'm gonna uh, try doing this uh, a few times a week or something like that. But you tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna. My plan is to quit totally. But of course, you can start like, okay, so this month I'm gonna do do it three times a week. I'm gonna allow myself to eat candy three times a week. The next week you do two and one. But your plan should always be to stop doing it completely and not just like being this mediocre person that oh well I, that allows himself to do it few times a week because you know this addition is bad for you right that's why you're probably wanting to stop doing it or maybe you have some higher purpose that you want to achieve and you need willpower for that and so just like the feeling feeling kind of good is for me is not worth it at all now I think you can do is to track your kind of progressive although I do this and it helps me really much is you can have kind of like a calendar or anything like that, just something with, that has the date, dates on it. And you write the addiction that you want to stop doing. For example, you might want to stop fapping because come on, we all know that's disgusting. <laughs> so you, you type, for example, no fap. And you have the dates on. And so you tell yourself, okay, this month, I'm going to do it 10 times, 15 times, depending on. You have to adjust it to your level. So if you're somebody who do, does it every single day, so 30 times a month, 
then you tell yourself, okay, this map, I'm going to do it only 20 times or 25 times. Every time you don't do it, you give yourself a check mark. Every time you do do it, you leave it empty or you put like a bad sign. And what does that does to your brain? One, it reminds you that. Because sometimes me, I like forget that I, I, am, I want to stop doing a bad thing, so I have to like have it on my wall in front of me all the time. But what it also does, it kind of mess, mess with your reward system, so you will be more, more likely to achieve your goal, the thing that you want to do. Now we'll come to the next point, and that is sleep and diet. Now sleep and diet, they are very, very important to having high willpower. Like you, you can still kind of, I wouldn't really say that you can manage without also like willpower wise. You can still have like a natural high willpower and stuff like that. But without sleep and diet, it's going to make it extre extremely hard. Okay, extremely hard. So if you like, for example, eat and sleep bad, it will for one, take more willpower to do things for example, abstain from that chocolate. Now when you have little sleep and you're on a bad diet, it will be even harder. It's like the chocolate will be calling to you and you drag you even more. And also the amount of willpower you have will be reduced significantly. And contrary, on the other hand, if you have slept good and you have eaten good, your willpower will skyrocket. It will be a piece of cake to do stuff. The willpower needed to do stuff will be practically it will be effortless okay so you have that work that you wanted to do for so long but you just felt oh, i can't probably because you haven't slept good and you, and your diet is like a shit so just like quick mention i won't go too deep in detail but for diet just by my recommendation i'm no doctor or anything but this has worked for me very very efficiently you can search it up later if you want to but it's just a non-processed diet so you just eat single ingredient food you basically everything from meat to vegetables you know uh, like a little bit more fat in the diet because that's very important for your hormones and everything like that and because of that you will feel way better so non-processed food single ingredient and they should use uh, be like organic so it, so you know that uh, the animals and stuff like that haven't been uh, like fed shit food and uh, drugs put in them because that will uh, affect you and so sleep you know how the old everybody says 8 to 10 that's perfect if you're maybe training a little, training or something like that maybe up for even like 10 to 12 depending on your age but 8 to 12 seems to be like the perfect for most people but you have to see what works best for you now there is something else it's not really scientific or anything like that. N nothing about like progressive overload diet or something that will shoot up your willpower immensely. This thing, like, if you obtain this thing, your willpower will go from zero to over 9000. Okay? That's how powerful this tool is. For example, you've seen the movies for the main character always seems to defeat the main villain using his willpower alone well okay, it might be plot armor but why is that? well it's because he has something to protect he has something that he has to achieve and his will to achieve that thing is higher than the villains right? and you see that like in a bunch of movies all across the world and so that's what you have to do as well you have to find something that you would risk your life for like a purpose your mission and when you have found that mission trust me you will do anything to obtain it and that, that means quitting all your bad habits like if you're struggling with willpower to do some work it's probably because i want to be honest you probably don't like that work it's probably not the thing for you you're probably like i, I kind of want to do it maybe it gives you money or something like that but that's not truly what you want to do right and so of course your willpower won't be there if, if there's something you truly want to do it will require like zero willpower to do 
and then also like quitting all those bad habits will be way easier because you do it like in the name of that one thing or that like one person maybe you want to uh, achieve success for your family then keep that in your mind and like write about it because your brain does not look at long-term success like your body and brain so you have to constantly be journaling about it so you engrave it in your soul and then there will be nothing that can stop you your willpower like i told you will be over the roof and you will be unstoppable now what i explained right now is that you can take willpower from something else another source than yourself and that's in my opinion way more effective because you only have so much willpower but if you do it in the name of someone else or something else it's something that we humans naturally tend to be better at like doing stuff for someone else you know or you can even like be for you but for your mission okay but there is a way to derive will willpower from yourself right without necessarily having like a big grand cause or anybody that you have to like save or protect and that is simply to change how you think of yourself and that, like you just have to respect and love yourself more start thinking of yourself as your best friend i know this tip is sounds kind of generic but trust me that has worked so much for me for example like, i think of myself as this high value man i don't know it kind of it sounds kind of cringy but you know that wouldn't do any bad habits and that's kind of disgusting by it, disgusted by it and so naturally of course i'm not going to do it because in my brain i'm thinking oh wait wait like i'm too good for this stuff i, I won't sink so low as to do it and you have to start thinking of yourself that way as well start saying to yourself you're better than this i'm better than this and like you actually have to believe it and well how do you believe it well you have to get some results for yourself that that's the best way if you don't have results then it's kind of hard to start thinking of yourself as something better than you're not but i want you to realize the potential that you have and when you realize that it will be very good easy for your willpower to just skyrocket for example think of this the thing i told you about the spartans and the boxer right they probably started off as you but through all the training you know the the constant years of polishing you realize the potential that you have like with some polishing you will become the diamond that you are always meant to be so to sum things up face your addictions head on and don't hide from them like a coward because eventually they will come to face you second thing is progressive overload a little by little try to improve your willpower <laughs> the third thing sleep and diet highly important if you want to keep your willpower as high as possible all the time and the fourth is kind of like uh, you know derive willpower from something else something bigger than yourself a mission someone you love and if you change your idea kind of change your identity not really but start thinking of yourself as the best possible you and you will see you will have way more respect and your willpower for yourself will go up now i challenge you i want you to set on a path to clear all of your addictions about for about six months i want you to implement the things that i've told you and if it helped i would, I would really love to see the progress you can type it in the comments or something like that but I guarantee you, if you do this, like constantly do it, it won't even take you one month, max, like six months, maybe a year, and you will be a whole new person. Trust me. Now, if you found this video helpful, I really appreciate it if you can hit that like button and subscribe. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Go out and skyrocket your willpower, man.